Back to back hurricanes have left one of the insects that keeps Southwest Florida beautiful starving. Right now, honeybees are facing a critical food shortage. Now they're coming to us to find food to eat. Wink News reporter Paul Dolan joins us now live from Cape Coral. So, Paul, why are we seeing so many bees near trash cans? One of the reasons bees are just trying to find some food. Think of hurricanes like a car wash. The rain cleaned out the pollen while damaging the trees and plants. That turned bees into scavengers, going through garbage cans just like this, looking for anything sweet. Imagine you're a hungry bee flying around looking for food. Maybe you'll find some in this tree, but as a last resort, you turn to the trash. After a storm, a lot of the pollen, a lot of the blooming things are knocked off a lot of the trees and uh, that you know puts bees out there looking for more resources. Matt Anderson has worked with bees for years. Anderson told me the honey flow happens later in southwest Florida because we have Brazilian pepper trees and that is part of the issue. Those resources are gone. That's why you see them a lot of times in trash or around uh, you know sweet spots, lemonade stands, things like that. You're gonna see a lot more bee activity uh, especially on top of the fact that they're already kind of stirred up and and displaced from the storm. Some people are so concerned about the bees, they're feeding them. One of those people is Laura Samuels. And then after this hurricane, I noticed the same thing again. Bees all over my chickens watermelon, so I started feeding them again. I've got two dishes out there. Samuels feeds the bees twice a day outside of her home. She's just doing her part to ensure that there are no hungry bees buzzing around in southwest Florida. Now, Samuels first started feeding bees after Hurricane Ian. She told me she's gone through 17 pounds of sugar in the last few weeks just feeding bees. Well, that's because they like sugar water. She also hopes that others will consider feeding our important pollinators too. But if you do, you should definitely be careful. Live in Cape Coral, Paul Dolan, Wake News. <laughs> mm.